For our first lesson, we learned all about the baton. This time, we're going to learn how to use it. But there's one question that comes up every so often. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Most conductors use the baton in their right hand, and it looks like this. But a few, and that's a very few, are left-handed. And when they conduct, it looks like this, the opposite. What difference does it make? Not a lot, really. I guess the people sitting on the side see the reverse image, but they get used to that very quickly. No matter which hand you use, there are some basic principles that need to be understood. The main job of the baton is to keep time, and usually in a very strict way. What I do is think about a line. It can be about here, about midway through your torso. And all the beats will emanate to and from that line. So let's imagine that our pattern of beats contains four beats. The first beat is going to start from that line and come down to that line. The second one is going to go to the left and land on the line. Third one's going to go to the right and land on that line. And the fourth one is going to come up with the beat itself also on the line. Without the left hand there, it looks like this. It's a very simple procedure, really. Down, left, right, up. But always with that line in mind. Try not to go above or below the line. Make the distance that you go up to be the same distance that you come down. You shouldn't do this. And likewise, you shouldn't do that. Always equal. And again, for you left-handers out there, just the reverse. The line is still there. What you're looking at is what the orchestra sees. So they're used to it. When you're sitting in the audience, though, this is what it looks like. Let's review that once more. It is the basic, fundamental piece of information you need to conduct a four pattern. Imagine it's da 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Down, left, right, up. Down, left, right, up. So I want you to do that with me, but I'm going to face the other way so you can see it from the point of view that you would as an audience member. And your exercise for the week? Keep working on that four pattern. Do it in different tempos. Some slow, some fast. Don't try to change tempos and try to keep an even beat. Is it okay to use a recording? Absolutely for this purpose. You're not trying to interpret anything. It's just a matter of understanding the basic technique. And now that you know everything you need to know about conducting in four, well, next time, two and three. <laughs>